Hello and welcome back to Murray. I am super excited today because we've been invited by Duffus Estate to come and stay in this lovely eco cabin behind me here, which overlooks the beautiful Duffus Castle. Super excited for this. We've got an hour until check-in, so we're just gonna go and do a sunset shoot at the castle before we head to the eco cabin itself. I'll show you around and show you just how epic this area is. We're only a five minute drive from the Murray Coast, a part of the area that you're all very familiar with if you've watched my channel for a while now and it's quite funny that I've never filmed a video here before because I literally grew up just 10 minutes down the road and I used to come to this castle a lot when I began my landscape photography journey but I've never filmed a video here so the next few videos are going to be super exciting for you all I can't wait to share this beautiful midweek break with you so let's get cracking love this castle. I've got some very, very fond memories here. So when I was a child, I used to come here a lot to go sledging and just to enjoy this beautiful location. I remember coming here once when Historic Scotland or one of these organisations had a bat night where you used to come here and they used to put all these things on in the summer for children to come and connect with nature. And one of them was to come here in the evening to watch the bats. And I remember, just remember being completely mesmerised by it. Then in my teenage years, I used to come here quite a lot to watch the Northern Lights and to also watch shooting stars and just enjoy the night sky. So this is a fantastic place to watch the night sky and actually one thing I'm hoping and praying that we can do while we stay in this eco cabin is to come out either tonight or tomorrow night and watch the night sky and do some astrophotography. It's gonna, it's a bit hit or miss though, I think tonight there's a very and a chance that the sky is going to clear and give us some breaks in the clouds so fingers crossed that happens tomorrow night's looking very wet so it's very unlikely but i would love it to get the opportunity to come out here in the next few nights and do some astrophotography i think it would be amazing but for now we're here to shoot the sunset it's not looking like it's gonna be a very good sunset there's a lot of cloud on the horizon but we're going to stick it out and see what happens and if we don't get a good sunset it's looking very hopeful for a good sunrise tomorrow so I've got two opportunities to get some nice photographs of this castle with a light on it, so we'll see how it goes. As we move towards sunset, the clouds are starting to get a little bit more interesting. I'm not 100% feeling it this evening, and I'm not... Uh, uh, it's one of these evenings where I don't think there's going to be a good sunset, but the clouds are changing so much it's really hard to tell. But what I thought I would do is, just in case we don't get a good sunset, so that I can kind of teach you my thought processes behind potential images, I thought I'd talk you through what I'm thinking with regards to this castle. So, one of the most iconic shots of this castle is of the, the old pebbled path that comes up to the castle itself. Now that's much better at sunrise because you have the sun behind you and potentially that golden light illuminating the castle, which is the shot or a similar type shot that I'm going to be looking for tomorrow morning. However, the sun this evening sets behind the castle, which you could say would make a better sunset photograph because these clouds will hopefully light up behind me. But there's, there's a lot of low-lying cloud behind there, so just now it's looking unlikely, but we've still got 45 minutes until sunset, so that could all change. But what I'm considering doing is going back to near the, ca the, the car park and taking a shot of the castle sort of side on. And the, my thought process behind this is because the sun is setting to the right of the castle, which should hopefully, if we get a break in the clouds, which might not happen, but if we do, we should get some nice intense orange light on the castle itself to give some nice colour and contrast and vibrancy to the castle walls and its surrounding landscape with hopefully some interesting clouds above it and then after the sun has set and we get that post sunset hopefully colours come back around this side and get the more iconic style shot with the clouds above the castle. Now, I did mention in a recent video that I don't like to get the iconic shots but when you come to a castle or a specific location like this one the amount of shots and different vantage points you can shoot from are very limited. You know, you're literally focusing on a static fixed object. Whereas in that video you will have seen, 
I think it might have even been my last video, I was at a, a whole location. So while I kind of went to photograph the waterfall initially, I ended up exploring the whole location and the shots I got out with the waterfall ended up being my favourite. There's always something to consider, but a static location like this, my only subject matter that I want to shoot is the castle. So I therefore may have to take a more iconic shot to get that image. <laughs> Super exciting. I never spoke through what just happened, so I'm gonna recap just now on what happened and um, because there's, there's people around and also the light kicked off really quickly and I literally had a matter of minutes to get the shot. So as I kind of explained to you in a, a, a few minutes ago, uh, what I was trying to do with uh, the photography tonight was try and talk you through my thought processes behind the images and as I said I wanted to get a shot with the sun setting to the right of the of the castle so I had nice orange glow on the castle and very fortunately the clouds parted and I got that orange glow I was after. Sadly there is a line of trees on the horizon so even if the sun comes out again I'm not going to get that really intense orange glow that you get just before it goes below the horizon but a few meters above it came out and we've got nice orange glow illuminating this landscape that lasted a matter of minutes and really that's what I was wanting for the photograph so the first image I'm going to show you is one that was taken from a taken at a very iconic spot here at Duffus Castle um, it's basically the first part you see when you come in the, into the castle grounds itself and it shows the castle on the hill and I have the light illuminating the landscape coming in the right hand side and that was what I wanted for this image. A little, bit, a little bit of interest and contrast and really make it pop I really needed that orange light and I got it and just to contrast to show you how much light really plays a part in this shot here's a photograph I took minutes before the orange sunset came out and as you can see just having that orange sunset light on the landscape really makes the image much much better and then I decided because we were getting a lot of color on this side of the castle to, to walk around this this sort of trench and pathway that's been you know put around the castle itself and uh, look for another composition and I found one that's a little bit different which has all the the grass which is now as you can see dying off as we're in autumn in the foreground and it was moving in the wind so I've got a nice photograph of the castle static on the hill with the moving grass around it I literally had 10 seconds to get this shot so I'm not a hundred percent happy with it compositionally but it's something a little bit different and you know away from that iconic shot that I originally photographed and then I came further around the castle and wanted to shoot it from this angle here which actually is an angle that I've never seen anybody shoot the castle from before. I wanted to get a shot of it from here with the orange glow on it but sadly I missed it and it's not looking fortunate that the sunset light is going to come out again but it's still not completely set so we've still got hope. And I've also got hope to go round to the other side and get the other iconic viewpoint of it with some clouds lit up above it. So we'll see what happens in the next sort of half an hour or so. But ultimately, I wanted to show you with this explanation why I wanted the sunlight coming in at the right hand side and why I'd pick that composition for the sunset golden hour light. Because as you can see, just having that light on the castle just adds interest, contrast, vibrancy to the image and having it coming in from the side as well, it's just a, you know, a great way to add interest and something a little bit different than your stereotypical sunset shot with the sunset bang in front of the camera glaring into your photograph. Think about having it coming in at different angles and the effect it will create and it will give you much more unique images and I'll really allow you to utilise that light when it does happen.
The sky just now is phenomenal. But the part of the sky that's phenomenal is so small that I need a telephoto lens to really zoom in on it and make the most of it. Which I've still not got. The lens that I want is still out of stock and all the ones I've loaned over the summer, sort of summer, early autumn months, I had to hand back. So I'm a little bit annoyed because I could have got an epic shot tonight of these clouds that are just lit up fiery red on the horizon. Now sadly, the image I had in mind for the post-sunset -sun photograph didn't work. Uh, the sky is very clear above it and the castle itself is very dark. I would have had to have done a bracketed exposure, but ultimately the real reason I'm not doing the photograph is because there is no interest in the sky whatsoever um, from that vantage point and all the interest is back on the horizon which is all behind the castle itself so photographing the castle isn't good um, to utilize the conditions that we have tonight in fact the conditions we have tonight would have been phenomenal at the seaside and not here but I am looking forward to the sky hopefully clearing even further so that we can maybe do some astrophotography this evening. All going to plan but that's not definite because I don't know what the conditions are going to do. But if the sky does clear I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode where I'll be doing some astrophotography. If it doesn't clear I'll see you all in the next episode where I'll be back here tomorrow morning for sunrise to hopefully get some more interesting images and really utilise that optimum times of day and the beautiful light that these golden hours present to us. So yeah, as always, I want to say a huge thank you for watching. We're off to the Ecopod now to get ourselves settled in for the night. I can't wait to show you around it all in the next video, as well as show you my next photography pursuit in this location. And uh, yeah, open your eyes up to some of the beautiful things that this area has to offer that I'd never spoken about before, and uh, just how incredible this, uh, this spot is. So yeah, I look forward to seeing you all again next time. What a view. Thank you.